horns and got down 100 yards away. They were so scared and said, come out with your hands up and then just waited 10 minutes. But no, they went up with their guns 20 feet away. You got about 10 deputies all pointing guns at him. He freaks out, runs away, they shoot him in the back. And it's just, it's just, this stuff is happening with more and more frequency. And the police are like, it was good, good mission, took him out, battling Al-Qaeda. Let's go ahead and go to the raw video, and I'll give you a play-by-play -play if you're a radio listener. We're going to post the raw video. We have the edited video in an article on Infowars.com. I'm going to have this raw video posted on there. Uh, or give them the link, guys, That's you know that, that, that you found in the raw video, or they'll end up thinking, I mean, take it and post it. It'll turn into a big 10-hour day. I'll just, just give them the video, and they'll post it. Thanks. Okay, um, here is this shocking video. You said we were walking out of here, and you're bringing up assault, and everybody's going to get hurt again? All right, don't change up your agreement. I'm going to try to walk through. All right. Love folks, try to arm. They got a German Shepherd. I can keep you safe. All right, don't worry about safety. I'm not a fucking murderer. They throw a flashbang at him. I forgot that part. Try to arm. Try to arm you. All right. Do it. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. That's clear murder. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Don't make fun of <laughs> Shot him in the back. Okay, now watching that video, back it up. I'm going to play it again. The dog comes up and starts biting at his crotch, trying to rip his genitals off. That's what a lot of those attack dogs will do. So the guy's standing there with his bag. He says, I'm walking down. It's not a big deal. I'm just camping up here, homeless. They rich in the dog in to rip his genitals off. He goes, why, why, why? He begins to try to push the dog away. Flashbang goes off. He gets startled, turns to the side. Dog's attacking him. And they shoot him in the butt. These are soldiers, folks, and they want to fight an enemy, and we're the enemy. And it's Fallujah style, and we're dead. And they've been trained like this because they're going to bring the country down, take all the pension funds, and America's done, and they're going to arrest their political enemies. They're going to have a civil war, and all these cops aren't going to be fighting homeless guys. They're not going to be fighting people that wait till you surround them with a dog and all this. And um, what's scary is, I guarantee you, these cops aren't even bad people. They're just brainwashed and sick. And they're going to have to drink from the cup that is America that's going to implode. We killed 54 million babies. We've done it all. And we're just an evil country. I mean, let's just get down to brass tacks here. Let's, uh, again, if you're a radio listener, I'll, I'll, I'll post on Infowars.com the, the raw video. But um, they uh, shoot the guy in the back. And, and, I mean, they assault him with a dog and throw a flashbang at him. All because it's a big hunting deal. They're just hunters. Call me the hunter, that's my name. Pretty young thing like you, that's my only game. Well, in their case, they're not looking for a, young, a beautiful young lady like Roy Orbison was. Pretty woman, the kind I'd like to meet. Pretty woman, walking down the street. No, no, they want to hunt men. They didn't go join the Navy SEALs to do it. They're going to hunt a homeless man. They're going to shoot him in the back. And did that dog go out to his testicle? At the NSA base, we pull in the parking lot. We're going to interview the media. We're here to talk. There's a main base gate right there. And they go, we got a dog to attack you. We bring a dog out here on you. <laughs> what you do, talk to an American. <laughs> You're supposed to, I mean, they literally, we're supposed to just grovel in fear, land of the coward, home of the slave. Why doesn't the American people be, the, the, the new symbol is a jellyfish. I mean, that's what you want, right? All right, let's go ahead and go to the footage again as I break it down. This is really shocking. Uh, and again, they've already assaulted him with a flashbang and a dog at his genitals. And you... Pull something out of his pocket. If I had a knife, I think I'd stab that dog. You're supposed to sit there in America. The new way to shake hands with the police is to literally pull your genitals off and have a dog bite it off. And then the cops will taser you and jump on your head and, and charge you with assault. And then they can go home while you're in a prison, while they're racking up all of the reap what you sow. Their kids are going to have cancer. They're going to have car wrecks, horrible lives, divorces, everything. And you don't know why you're cursed. Because you're evil. Anybody that does evil gets bad. One way or another, it comes back on you fools. Now go ahead and go to the footage of them murdering this guy. But the police chief says it's okay. Get on the ground. All right, flashbang. Dog goes for the genitals. Get on the ground. Don't make fun of Shoot him in the back. And that's a drug dog. It looks like it's obsessed with his bag. Moving up. Moving up. I'm a Marine. 
Oh, I just took out a homeless man. I'm really tough. I'm really something else. Go get his dogs in his hands. But they're all excited. Oh, oh, it's better than duck hunting. Oh, his hands are still, still armed. Yeah, it's still on him. Oh, God, we're, we're not safe. Oh, 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 we just shot him. Look out. Oh, all his other voices. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh. I saw this video where they shoot this, this family's basset hound twice. They just shot him again? <laughs> oh, yeah. Kill him. Kill him. And, 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 and they shoot the dog. And they're like, yeah, dog's upstairs. He, he charged me. See this dog's tail wagging? They shoot it. Oh, yeah, release the dog on him after you kill him. Yeah! Yeah! Hunting him! Hunting man's what I like to do! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah, have the dog ripping at his leg after they shoot him. Yeah! Yeah, shoot him over and over. Yeah, step on him! Step on him after you kill him! And let that dog chew on him! That dog wanted his testicles! Dog, feed it to him! Attention gun owners, it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel body armor goes on in seconds. Is civilian legal in all 50 states? Is 100% made in the USA? Is veteran owned and ships next business day for free? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Extend your life with Extendovite. So, Dad, you're sounding a lot better. How have you been feeling since your heart attack? Well, son, I am feeling a lot better. Ever since your sister ordered me a bottle of Heart Drop 2000's Extendovite for my heart. Heart Drop? Extendovite? What's that? Well, it, it's just seven herbs that are approved for helping keep my heart healthy. That's great, Dad. I was getting worried about you. I am so glad it's helping. So am I, son. I'm very glad your sister got it for me. I wish I had known about it before my heart attack. Yeah, but would you have taken it, though? You know, I'm not sure if I would have, but I'm awful glad I'm taking it now. To order, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822. Or visit our website at heartdrop.com. Extend your life with There's no reason to be sick this season with Supernatural Silver's incredible technology. You can give your immune system the support it needs to help fight off colds, flus, and other nasty pathogens that can ruin the holidays for you and those you love. Used internally or topically, Supernatural Silver is a great defense against sore throats, runny noses, sinus or ear infections, and a whole host of other illnesses. Supernatural Silver is extremely safe and a great way to protect yourself and the ones you love. No one knows what the future may bring. So be smart and plan ahead. Have Supernatural Silver in your emergency preparedness arsenal and give someone a gift that's meaningful, a gift that can change lives. Give the gift of good health this year. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER2013 for 20% off your entire order. That's SupernaturalSilver.com and like us on Facebook. You know, we all got really, really upset during uh, that last segment and during the break. Because then they handcuff his dead body and act all scared of the dead body. Because that makes it okay what they just done. They attack a homeless guy with a flashbang and a dog. Shoot him in the back. And then shoot him more with beanbag gun. And looks like real firearms. Two, two, three. And then they go over and step on his body. He's clearly, you know, dying. 
and then handcuff him. And they could have just done what they did in San Francisco where they shoot the handcuff guy in the back and the bullet bounces back up through his body and hits his heart, just claim he attacked him. But the sick thing is the police chief totally defended this because they, quote, felt threatened. And that's the new thing where police are like God. You're not God. You're being set up to be death squads to kill whoever you want because a criminal group's taking the country over. And everyone's horrified by this, and, and, and it's disgusting, especially when they look so excited while they're doing it, and the police chief says, great job, police. You know, not, well, it's tragic this happened, but they felt threatened. No, it's just, oh, great job. I'm going to do a special report on this. But just, 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 you know, the news media cuts it when they pull, pull the trigger. You don't see him get shot because they don't want you to see the rest of the shooting him. And the dog, after they've already shot him more, they just let the dog sit there and bite him. Come on in and bite him. Oh, he moved his arm again. Shoot him again. You don't like a dog chewing on you, boy? Send in a dog. If he runs, shoot him in the back. And uh, it's like Yosemite Sam has become the police or something. And it's not like they were chasing a killer. It's not like they were going after some supermax guy that has escaped or a child molester or something. It's just reg all the time. It's autistic people or old people. Clearly, I've seen the squad car videos where some autistic person doesn't know what planet they're on. They'll kill them. Get on the ground. They don't get on the ground. Start beating them, tasering them. They try to run, shoot them. And the police go, that's right. We going to kill more or we won't. And I see all these videos where it'll be somebody in a wheelchair. Get out of a wheelchair. I'm sorry, I'm a quadriplegic. Get your butt. I'm going to smack you with a baton, throw him out of the wheelchair on the ground. <laughs> I mean, look at all the other tyranny. And look at Jimmy Carter, a president, having to say he has to send letters now because he knows he's being monitored and spied on. That's how pathetic this is. And it just continues, and nobody gets in trouble. And, and they, they kill 54 million babies. Nobody gets in trouble because we're a sick country. It makes me sick. Let's go ahead and go to this tape. As a matter of fact, you know, I have felt that my own uh, communications were probably monitored. No and, kidding. Uh, when I want to communicate with a foreign leader privately, I type or write the letter myself, put it in the post office and mail it. Uh, <laughs> Old-fashioned snail mail. <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> because I, I believe if I send an email, it'll, it will be monitored. By the way, folks, this hour was brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. We find all the specials, non-GMO, organic, and they've got great customer service. And I think they're the best storable foods company out there, MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. The toll-free number is there on the site. Uh, man, I'm out of time. I know we've got Jim in Connecticut, and I know we've got uh, Kyle in Arizona, where, and we've got Joe in Maine, and Jason in Florida and uh, Rob in Los Angeles. I will go to break. I won't be able to get to Rob and Jason, but I'll get to Jim, Kyle, and Joe. But just you'll each have a minute or so, and I got to go to the next person. We're going to start the overdrive, infowars.com forward slash show. Some stations don't carry this fourth hour because I don't always do it live. Uh, we used to do four hours all the time, but I cut back to three because of all the other duties I've got around here. Uh, but this is an emotional show. I mean, I'm emotional about all this. And I know we're not safe. And I know we're a third world country. I mean, it came out that the Pentagon spies on all Americans. And, that, and it was called, you know, last week was in the L.A. Times that we're a banana republic. Yeah, that's banana boat stuff, folks. That's, that's bad. I mean, this stuff isn't good. You can try to dress it up and say it's okay. Everybody knows deep down it's not okay, and it's getting a lot worse. You are listening and they're going to bring in a civil war. I want to stop that. Visit I want peace. I don't want a war. But I'm not going to your FEMA camp. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine.
Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield Nascent Iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield Nascent Iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139.